Hey there, it's Pete over at Samplist, and today we are checking out Desolate Guitars from E Instruments. Desolate Guitars is all about capturing that quintessential classic guitar soundtrack sound. We are talking twangy guitars, vintage amps, tremolo, spring reverb, whammy bars, and of course everything is sampled in absolute pristine condition. Desolate Guitars downloads at 33 gigabytes and is sampled in 24-bit 48 kilohertz resolution and it runs in the free contact player 7.6.1 or better. It is of course NKS compatible and currently it is on sale for 99 euros or dollars and then after the intro sale ends it goes up to 149 dollars or euros. I'd like to take the opportunity to thank E Instruments for sending over a copy of Desolate Guitars who can make this video. Obviously, we get the videos, sorry, the instruments for free, but it does not influence our thoughts, ideas, or judgments on the libraries. I will say this, I make a lot of guitar-based spaghetti western music, and having a software instrument to replace my guitars that I've been using for many, many years uh, is no mean feat. So does Desolate Guitars do that? Well, we're going to find out in this video. We're going to talk about the functions and of course I'll play the sounds that are contained within out of the box and then I've thrown it into a composition. So without further ado, let's jump in and check out Desolate Guitars. And here we have Desolate Guitars loaded up in the free Native Instruments Complete Control Player. And look at that GUI. It just screams cinema at you. You've got the desert, random pillars of light, we've got a striking skyline. Absolutely love it. So you know the kind of guitars that you're going to hear. It's going to be very vintage, very twangy, a little bit dusty maybe. Absolutely brilliant. On the left-hand side, you can see all of the different instruments that are contained within the library. And of course, if you click on the patch you're on, you can bring up the patch selector. So two ways to do it. I've turned off previews just for the sake of the video. Should I decide to use these? But we might use these. Let's see what it sounds like. Now, we're on baritone. That is the first guitar. And obviously, it's got a very uh, low extended range. So I'm just going to play in standard range just so you get an idea of what it sounds like. Yeah, it sounds amazing. Uh, I, I often mention the fact I've got a huge Marshall stack in my studio and miking up and just getting your own sound, especially if you use amp modeling software, you can get close, but this is how the real thing. It sounds amazing. Let's just check out that range. So we've got the low C here. I mean, that's a monster. Going up to the high D. Yeah, it sounds brilliant. And you can hear lots of different effects that are in play. So uh, we've got the spring reverb. Just the control using that slider. And uh, we can have tremolo if we want to. Which I do use a lot. And we have the two amps. So we have amp A and amp. Uh, amp B, not hamp. It's not even a word. You can slide between them. So there's a very fendery amp A. And there's our Vox amp. And I did pop over to the E Instruments website just to see if, if I could work out uh, the equipment that was being used. And I think for copyright reasons, can't really state that, but obviously we've got baritone, we've got a um, 
definitely a Fender Telecaster going on. And I don't know, uh, E335 maybe, or uh, who knows what's going on. But there's some really cool vintage guitars happening. Uh, so they can't really name them, but clearly we've got a Fender and a Vox going on there. Um, really, really simple controls. And you can just, yeah, just solo or mute uh, or pan the different amps, which is very, very cool. So it's a really, really simple instrument. Uh, the mod wheel, that's the other thing to talk about, is, uh, if you notice, I haven't really used it. You've got a choice of open string. Don't want to play that. Adding a tiny bit of... Uh, vibrato with a pitch shift nice and easily you can do string bends as well but we're very accurate there anyway the mod will you can be open or you can be muted beautiful now I'll see on the muted hear that spring reverb going so if you just bring that down I can still hear some effects so we've taken the string uh, spring reverb off so if you just tap this you get all of the different effects options which is really really cool because as a guitarist we're so used to just linking up effects chains and different pedals and all that kind of thing ever since amp modeling came out uh, it's been very cool just to be able to do everything in one single unit um, but yeah, so we have all of this going on. So you can bring all the effects down. Or you can just play around with the different effects. Quite a lot going on there. So it was around there, wasn't it? And you can see here we've got re reverb, compression, digital reverb, analog delay. Not in the mix yet. There it is. Got some grit. And then none. Which I'm guessing we can just add our own effect from everything that's there. Let's put a flanger on it just for a laugh. But we don't be muted with the flanger. <laughs> It takes you back just to when I got my first flange pedal. It was actually part of the multi effects, but I remember playing with it for ages. There we go. So it sounds incredible. Now that's sort of whizzing around the instrument. Let's just play different sounds. And I'm just going to trigger them from the left hand side. So we've got bass swells. You can see the mod wheel either reverses them or plays them forward. So if I put it into the forward position. Then we have the reverse. So very, very cinematic. And move on to the next one. So we've got bright swells. And it's going to do the same again. So I'm just going to play forward first. I did actually hit the pitch pen there. So you can hear how cinematic this is. And 
that's what this library is all about. You've got amazing playable guitars that just sound great and you can sort of play open strings and do some really cool things with them. Uh, and then you have these more designed cinematic patches. That just sounds amazing. Now, one of the guitars is the chime guitar and we have chime chords. So if I uh, just use the mod wheel again, there's a D minor. If you use a mod wheel, we've got a D major. And these play in different configurations, as it were, different positions on the guitar. So playing chord progressions is really, really easy. Really straightforward stuff. And again, that just takes the headache out of just playing these long chords. And of course, you can combine it. I was playing around with using the um, pitch bend. Get some cool effects there, right? Um, so you've got these very, really lovely chords. Now, I do as I keep saying, a lot of spaghetti west and stuff, and I'm forever just playing like jangly chords. Um, so that sounds really, really awesome. And then we've got the same again, but we have the uh, vibrato arm. Just hitting too many notes there. Yeah, it just sounds like you're just, just tracking rhythm guitars. Sounds awesome. Um, then we've got the chimes guitar. Excuse me. I'm, I keep accidentally hitting extra notes here, which is not cool. Let's try that again. I love that spring. Lovely. Uh, and then we have the chime guitar with the vibrato arm again. Absolutely gorgeous. Brilliant. Now that is the one thing that is very difficult to get uh, into a library is the use of smooth whammy work. So you can use like pitch bend the things, but it always sounds very, very artificial. But this is brilliant. So doing a chord. <laughs> Again, that's a huge time saver. And I did ask the question, would this replace me using my own guitars and playing in live instruments? But when you hear things like that. I mean, the answer is yes, definitely. Um, th this is an incredible library. And whether you're a guitarist or not, this is incredible. So we have the uh, Chimes Staccato Chords. It's going to be the same, isn't it? Back off the spring so you can hear what the sample sounds like. Yeah, sounds like a song I play in my wedding band. Hmm. 
And they got some more sound design things like uh, we have these textures, which are degraded. <laughs> sound brilliant so again very very cinematic and then our next one is desolate chords so again major minor now this is the patch that when i read uh not read i saw the walkthrough demo this one got me really excited uh because again i spent ages just dialing in my tone my sound etc and straight out of the box you have these amazing tremolo chords Yeah, they sound incredible. Then we have the Desolate Guitar. And there's two patches. One's called Desolate Guitar and one's called Desolate Guitars. Uh, let's just see what the difference is. I'm going to play in a different key. Um... <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. And now we have desolate guitars. And this one's taking a bit longer to load, so let's just see. Oh, it's the same patch. I think. <laughs> Yeah, it just seemed to be. I don't see anything changing. I'm just going back to the other patch. Yeah. Well, there we go. Then we've got desolate staccato chords. That amazing reverb. So, of course, playing chord progression. Just use the mod wheel. I mean, I love the way this is made. Desolate tremolo. Absolutely brilliant. And you can reverse it. Lovely. And then we have detuned feedback. Now this is one of those patches where if you're going to do this live in your studio, it's so hard to get. The conditions have to be right. You've got to crank up uh, your amp. You might use like a THD hot plate or something to soak up all that sound so you can get feedback like this. But just check this out. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Let's do another one. It 
is amazing. I think the first one, it wasn't quite into reverse, but it sounded like it was reverse. So I'm just going to play the same note, but reverse. <laughs> I can hear that stereo delay going on as well. I mean, I think that's brilliant. Again, it's another very unique sound. Then we've got dirty textures. These are major, oh, excuse me. Major or minor, depending where you are on the module. Just screaming. They got ethereal textures. Play those up. Feedback swells. I mean, all this just sounds gorgeous, doesn't it? Uh, let's just go forward. There we go, reverse. Oh, I don't know. I'm just enjoying myself. It does sound wonderful. Got fuzz swells. So it's a couple forward, then a couple... Uh, back and then we've got mellow guitar. This is another one of the guitars. like a little bit of chromatic movement yeah but again the mellow guitars just sounds beautiful <laughs> I got the harmonics. I absolutely love these harmonics. Uh, I was going to play them forward. So they sound like natural harmonics. are great but of course you can only get natural harmonics in certain positions on the guitar so having this chromatic really, really cool 
I've got motion swells. Actually, I just want to go back to the uh, reverse harmonics because they sound absolutely gorgeous. There we go. Now we've got uh, motion swells. Sorry, mellow swells. Beautiful. And then we're going to go to Surfer Tremolo. little bit like happy birthday there what's going on so you can play those forwards just give you an idea about the range and of course you can reverse them They've got these two note chords, uh, love these, because they're uh, root and third, I believe. And you can just change between major and minor. And of course, depending on the octave, you'll have a different uh, position on the guitar where they're played. So this G sounds beautiful there. A little bit higher. Lower. Higher. So again, very, very cool. But these are just so great. And there we go, that is everything, excuse me, in uh, Desolate Guitars. And it sounds wonderful, glorious. Uh, would it stop me recording my own guitars? Yes, definitely. Uh, there, there's certain aspects, obviously, if I'm doing leads, etc., then I'll, I'll record them in. But for, for someone who writes a lot of this kind of music, should we say, um, yeah, it, it's fantastic. I'll be using this a lot. Uh, all the sounds out of the box sound brilliant. The articulations, like the main ones that you needed there. You've got a, such a great range with the harmonics and the swells. You've got some sound design. The feedback, you're not going to get anywhere else. Tremolo arm is absolutely brilliant. Because um, that's something that I would record. But you get these performances that add character to your piece of music. Um, yeah, it sounds great. And I do have to write another Spaghetti Western album soon. And this is going to feature on there for sure. It it's really is a fantastic library. Now, um, I've already made the demo, uh, so I'm not, not going to scurry off and compose for an hour now. I, I made it, and which is a really good way of learning how the instrument works. And um, yeah, just see what you think. Uh, I, I didn't want to go Spaghetti Western, but I did because I just love that. And then to make it a bit more cinematic, I threw like a, a Rhodes in there, uh, dusty old Rhodes, a suitcase Rhodes, I think. Um, yeah, just see what you think. I, I really, really like it, but the, the point is I really enjoy composing using Desolate Guitars, and I think it really shows through this demo. So, yep, let's check it out, and then we're going to uh, talk about what it's like to compose with.
And there we have our Spaghetti Western Influence soundtrack demo using Desolate Guitars. I have to admit, it lends itself to that style effortlessly. And I do write a lot of Spaghetti Western music, and recording live guitars is normally the way I go, but these sound absolutely incredible. And of course, stylistically, they just really work for this kind of soundtrack. Now, let's talk about the composition. So there are seven desolate guitar instruments. As you can see on the left, these are the blue ones. And then I've added some spaghetti western staples, tubular bells, cornet trumpet, drums, two basses, because I had uh, into weaving bass parts a little bit later on. And of course, electronic, electronic, electric piano, just to make things sound a little bit different. So I threw that in there towards the end. But it all starts off with these three guitars. Desolate guitars, the tune feedback and the baritone guitar. It's instant cinema. I mean, that is just absolutely perfect. And of course, I added some tubular bells on the intro. There seems to be a block of MIDI up there doing absolutely nothing, so I remove that. And you just have this really, really simple intro. And then the drums pick up and we go into sort of section A, as it were. <laughs> Beautiful. Now, we go into the next section, and I've automated these two note chords. I just love the fact you can just use the mod wheel to change where they're major or minor. So, of course, the mod wheel low or down, it'll be minor, and then you bring it up for major chords. Really, really straightforward. So, the program is really, really easy. So, these just follow the desolate guitars, and desolate guitars are playing a kind of melody. <laughs> Beautiful. So we add just a simple drum part and uh, a bass part as well. And then the trumpet will join in playing a solo. Beautiful. Then we're going to the main part of the track. I wanted to show off different sounds from the library. So of course we do have the harmonics make an appearance here. I love that reverse. And then we have the uh, baritone guitar again, but it's muted this time. So what we've got to do is bring the mod wheel all the way up and you get this muted version. <laughs> And of course, you've got the spring reverb going on there. And you can take it off, but for this style of music, I think it's, it's really, really cool. And of course, uh, I've got the bass doubling up a little bit later playing that riff as well. He says that and he uh, didn't solo the correct bass part. Here we go. Just 
Just reminds me of my days being in uh, progressive rock bands. That's the kind of stuff we used to do. Mm. Now, we've got the feedback coming in again. We've got the chords going all the way through. We've got the mute and we have chime chords. And the chime chords just sound gorgeous. So really, really simple. I'm alternating between a more treble chord to a basic chord as well. And of course, we have the tubular bells. Never forget the tubular bells. If you're doing spaghetti western. So let's just hear from where this cornet picks up. There was originally a cornet solo, but I took that out. I just wanted the guitar to do all the talking. So of course, once all that's set up, I've already said that I play the bass, uh, sort of the bass plays the muted guitar part, but we also have the harmonics as well towards the top playing. So they're just playing short versions, so you don't get the feedback tail, but it sounds like this. <laughs> And of course, I said feedback, I meant a reverse, but I love the reverses on these harmonics. And we just end with a really, really standard E minor chord. So really, that is a whole composition. You can see at any one time, there isn't a huge amount of instruments playing. And because it's so quick and easy to program, so like I say, if I just click on here, this is quite good because I was holding these E minor chords. And at this point, I was like, ah, oh, is it major or minor? I totally forgot what I had written. Uh, so I sort of went up and then realised it was minor, so brought it down. Um, but the programming is really, really straightforward. The playing is great. All I've done is quickly panned everything left and right and uh, put my master chain on. And that's it. It's a really straightforward composition, but it's made so easy because working with desolate guitars is really, really straightforward. Um, we've got playable guitars all the way through here. Nice and easy. Then we got the chords... Uh, just played by pressing a single finger um, and adjusting the mod wheel. Nice and straightforward. And of course, the drums uh, and bass just following whatever I've written up here as well. So, yeah. Um, so, my impressions of Desolate Guitars to compose with, so we're not talking about the library as a whole, just composing. It's really, really straightforward to just use straight out of the box. It's really easy to program it sounds absolutely great like you could spend hours and hours and hours just approaching getting these tones like say i've got a giant marshall stat behind me and lots of amp modeling um hardware which i use live so i could quite easily um sort of try and make these sounds live but why would i when they sound so good uh in desolate guitars don't need to it's taken um hours off my spaghetti western workflow so there we go. Uh, great library. If you want this sound, it's not just Spaghetti Western, obviously, um, but I've, hopefully my composition has proven it just holds its own really, really easily in a Spaghetti Western context and a soundtrack context. Uh, very important. So I believe for a modern composer, this is a really, really great library to have in your composing toolkit. For my closing thoughts, well, Desolate Guitars, I mean, it sounds incredible. It is squarely aimed at the media composer and absolutely nails it. Now, I am a guitarist and I would happily forego the wonderful experience slash ordeal of recording my own sounds and getting my guitars just right and just use this 
in my productions. It obviously sounds completely realistic. You've got all the control over the guitar tone and the effects and you can switch between the two amps or crossfade. It's a really, really clever instrument, but it's very, very straightforward to use. And of course, you've got all of the different presets, so you can just start finding the sounds you need. And I have to admit, everything within my demo was just completely out of the box. I didn't feel the need to tweak it or change it or do anything to it whatsoever. Whereas, of course, I'm used to stacking my effects chains and just playing around with different sounds and different pickups and different everything it kind of eliminates the choice but it sounds amazing and it's straightforward to use and really it's just down to your imagination how you use it so of course I've used it in a spaghetti western setting you can just use it for those kind of like deserty um, like Vegas uh, cinematic scenes or end credits or underscore or video game I mean the, the list really is endless but it is just a gorgeous sounding instrument and of course e-instruments they're behind just brilliant libraries like the Corona Quartet and Valves I didn't really expect anything less but like I say as a guitarist it takes quite a lot for me to say no I'm not going to play guitar I'm going to use a, a software instrument and this really works for me sounds great i think it's an absolute bargain and yeah just you know if, if you are a media composer or you compose anything like this i really really recommend that you pick this one up all that leads me to say is thank you once again to e instruments for sending over a copy of desolate guitars so we could make this video if you like what you heard feel free to leave a like on the comment like on the comment like on the video and comment on the video let's know what you think about it have you already picked it up in the intro sale? Are you planning on it? What would you use it for? And just anything else you'd like to about the instrument. If you're not done so already, please, please, please check out our other videos on YouTube. And of course, please consider subscribing to our channel. We are rapidly growing. We've got lots and lots and lots of content and lots of yummy instruments coming your way. And of course, please feel free to head over to our website, thesamplist.com, to check out a little bit more about what we are all about. And I will, at some point, update it. It is my New Year's resolution. Not that I believe in those, but I need something to get me to update that one. I've been saying it for ages. Now, uh, yeah, not now. Yes, it's time to go. Uh, make lots of wonderful, beautiful music. And, of course, just enjoy yourself because that's what it's all about. Take care.